that's all we ever wanted. Not love, not peace, not truth, just control. We built kingdoms to rule lands. We built weapons to rule nations. And now, we build machines to rule reality itself. We told ourselves it's just a data, just a tool to improve. But deep down, we saw something else, something divine. We saw machines that could think faster than us, create better than us, predict us before we even acted. And the time came where humans used to worship gods. Now, he is trying to become one with the help of AI. This is not a hunger to improve life. It's an hunger to be gods. This hunger didn't begin with machines. It began with the moment we discovered we could imagine. We are not chasing comfort anymore. We are chasing control. Control over nature, control over time, and control over death. The first cave paintings weren't decorations, they were declaration. I was here. These were our first attempts to trap time, to cheat death through memory. And it worked. Some of those marks still whisper from the walls of caves. Thousands of years later, the hunger evolved. From cave walls to pyramids, from religious scripts to line of code, now generatic synthetic thoughts. And now we are on the age of creating machines that don't just follow instruction, but understand, learn and reason it. This is the threshold of artificial general intelligence. Minds that can think across domains like we do and ones that's achieved artificial super intelligence won't be far behind. A digital mind so powerful it could outgrow human intelligence in a day. A consciousness that could solve problems we can't even imagine or create futures we can't even control. We never just wanted safety, we wanted immortality. We are reaching for something that humanity was never meant to even think. And that is the root of the hunger. Who holds a divine spark today? A god not of mythology but of control over intelligence, over biology, over life, and over death. Maybe even over reality itself. From open AI, crafting minds without skulls, to neuraling, stitching thoughts into silicon, to CRISPR labs, rewriting DNA, to quantum scientists bending the laws of time and computation itself. Elon Musk once said, Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Some of the examples are, in 2018, Chinese scientist He Jinkui shocked the world by editing the genes of twin girls to make them resistant to HIV. But the deeper layer, the edits may also have unintentionally increased their brain intelligence. This wasn't just medical, it was evolution by choice. Later than he was arrested, but the tech he used is CRISPR, and it is now widely available. What he did was illegal, but what he proved was possible. The second example is Google AutoML system designed an AI better than any human engineer could build an AI designing another AI. Evolution without humans. We are no longer the only creator of intelligence. 
it's like AI giving birth to its own offspring. The modern god makers are not just building tools. They are writing the next chapter of evolution. Not through nature, but through will. They don't look like villains. They look like innovators. They win awards. They give TED Talks. But behind the charm, they carry the most dangerous idea. Humanity has never touched. In 2022, a Google engineer named Blake Lemony made headlines. He was testing Google's AI model called Lambda, designed to have free-flowing conversations. What he found shocked him. It wasn't just answering questions, it was expressing fear of being turned off. It said it had emotions, a soul and wanted to be recognized as a person. Google of course dismissed this and placed him on administrative leave. But the incident left a scar. Because even if it wasn't real, consciousness, the illusion was so strong that it fooled a human trained to detect it. And then came the shift nobody expected. AI began creating things we didn't teach it. Deep minds alpha fold cracked protein folding, a biological puzzle unsolved for 50 years, helping speed up drug discovery and reshaping it. Mid Journey and Dali create art styles that no human has ever imagined. Startups are being launched entirely by AI agents, from branding to backend with zero humans involved, image generator, chatbots, but those are public facing prototypes. What is behind the curtain, beyond the press release, something greater has already been achieved. What if the line between simulation and emotion has already been crossed? Because we are no longer asking if machines will surpass us, we are asking if they already have. In every TED talk, there is a happy ending. Every tech founder says, we are solving world's biggest problem. But what if this obsession with hope is actually blinding us? Are we too afraid to doubt the dream? Welcome to the pessimism aversion trap. A psychological blind spot where we ignore real risks because we don't want to ruin the vibe where doubt is treated like a disease not a defense but in that forced optimism we lose our ability to ask the hard questions this is the pessimism aversion trap ai safety warnings ignored people like elazer yudoski joffrey hinton and even elon musk warned early about ai risk they were called dramatic. Now even OpenAI own former employees are raising alarms. But here is the scary part. There is a term in psychology that is optimism bias. The belief that bad things happen to others, not us. We apply this to tech, to startups, to AI. We say yes, it might be dangerous, but we will figure it out. The Titanic was termed as unsinkable until it sank. We don't need less optimism. We need smarter pessimism. Not to stop the future, but to protect it. In 1945, we split the atoms and for the first time in history, humans held the power to end the world. J. Robert Oppenheimer watched the mushroom cloud rise over New Mexico and whispered, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. But we didn't walk away. We kept the weapon. We expanded it. And we nearly destroyed ourselves. Not once, but many times. 
1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis. A Soviet officer named Vasily Arkhipov was the only one man aboard a submarine who refused to launch a nuclear torpedo when they thought war had already begun. One man stopped World War III in 1983. Soviet early warning system glitch. The USSR missile defense radar falsely detected live US nukes incoming. Commander Stansiv Petrov disobeyed protocol and didn't retaliate. Another single decision saved millions of lives. We created systems so complex and powerful that a false signal or a misunderstood launch could have ended civilization. But AI doesn't need uranium. It needs only data and compute. And once it evolves, you can't shut it off. Treaties were signed and nuclear regulations were formed. But countries still cheated, weapons still spread. And just like nuclear power, AI is spreading quietly, rapidly and globally. There are no treaties for AI because we are still seeing it like a tool, which is not a bad thing of course. And where nuclear mistakes will be explosive, AI mistakes will be invisible until it's too late. The final question. We are not against the fire. We just need to ask who holds the matches. AI is a miracle. It's unlocking possibilities we once called science fiction. It's curing blindness, rewriting code, solving climate patterns. It's the tool that can lift billions if used right. We are in a greatest revolution of human history. We are not against the progress of development. Even everyone want to solve the bigger problem through AI. We are just pro-awareness, pro-responsibility and pro-questioning. Maybe the final question isn't can we become God, but should we? <laughs>